Hey everybody, welcome to Cake Burger. My name is Steve. I'm Spider-Man. Uh, as a Spider-Man fan, you're eating good. Um, good now for, and for the foreseeable future, to be honest with you. Um, now just in the comics alone, you have several quality books out. Uh, one of which, Love It or Hate It, is wrapping up and uh, cleaning up messes from over a decade uh, involving offensive to some and, uh, and uh, either way divisive to both uh, long-term and long uh, new fans of the character, uh, as well as new stories being crafted, uh, which will culminate next year into Spidey's uh, 60th uh, birthday as far as publication goes, with issue 900, to which I'm now hearing from now uh, three people, uh, that Marvel will announce at the end of the year that longtime uh, DC and uh, writer and editor Peter Tomasi will be writing for Marvel, making his debut um, once he gets his creator-owned projects with Jeff Johns over at Image up and running. Uh, and will be joined by fellow uh, Superman Rebirth collaborator, collaborator, that's an easy word to say, uh, Patrick Gleason on the, as the new Amazing Spider-Man team. Uh, given what Peter and Patrick did over at Superman uh, with John Kent and Lois and all that during Rebirth. Don't be surprised if given the fact that, uh, spoiler alerts, we seem to be un undoing one more day. Though you might see the return of May Day, but uh, I digress. Um, the movies. Uh, now, just next year, or well, actually, uh, just this year, we have a f in a few weeks we have um, the, uh, the release of Venom 2 and The Secret of the Ooze coming out. Uh, I mean, uh, Let There Be Carnage. Followed by uh, the end. Uh, by the end of the year, we have uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home. Then followed by uh, next year by Spider-Verse 2, and I'm assuming Morbius. Uh, then possibly Craven at the end of the year, if not the year following, and, uh, and so on. Uh, in the case of No Way Home, and uh, what's been going on around is uh, potential spoilers from Venom 2 during the post-credit scene, which I won't get into just yet. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm gonna um, uh, drop that uh, potential spoiler bomb. Um, I thought we could probably discuss uh, real quick the future of the Spider-Man films, uh, what's going to happen post uh, uh, No Way Home. Uh, as far as many of you are aware, this is uh, the last film Spidey actor Tom Holland is contractually obligated to star in when it comes to Marvel. And as far as MCU appearances, uh, whether or not that um, uh, whether or not he continues to play Spider-Man further is up to him. Um, but as far as, as he's alluded to, it seems pretty likely he will. He seems he's, he's wanted to play Spider-Man for years. He said he, he wants to continue playing Spider-Man for like a billion years or whatever. Um, but we can we'll discuss what it means narratively to the story and how it fits uh, continuity-wise with uh, how it with, with, when you factor in the studio rights and all that. Um, how it might um, it might throw a monkey in the wrench uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the films, or it might not. Um, let's kind of get into what's going to happen, like, you know, post No Way Home, starting with, like, the least likely versus what most, most likely is going to happen. Um, least likely, uh, Sony will retain all the film rights and appearances all to themselves. They'll look at what the, all the money they made from the three films they did with Marvel and the success of Venom. And what looks to track is another success with the sequel, decide to keep it all in-house. Um, Tony, Happy, Strange, and all them. Uh, they'll just won't be mentioned anymore going forward, uh, which, uh, which they can do. Uh, a lot of people seem to be confused as to far as far as to what universe this takes place in, and I'll, I'll kind of get into that later. Um, uh, what does that mean for Tom Holland, though? Uh, although they could, you know, recast, given the or even given the re recent resurgence uh, on the internet and Twitter for the, uh, the the all of a sudden love for the Mark Webb films, um, Mark Webb films. Oh my God. Um, particularly Garfield as Spider-Man, uh, they could uh, multi be multiversing him um, in a cameo in No Way Home as we speak to sort of insert him and have him return, or we could just go uh, with someone new. I would, given that uh, Holland's a rabid fan base and acclaim as a character, they would just throw a bunch of money at him and uh, keep him. Uh, Sony could just decide to continue with their Spider-Verse cinematic universe and uh, strike a deal with Amazon or Netflix or any real direct competitor to Disney and start streaming like, you know, uh, hour-long uh, Miles show films or, or Spider-Gwen shows or, or Aunt May the Golden Oldie shows. Um, just kind of like, you know, retain, like, you know, because they can, you know, they, they, they can have those shows. They can be, you know, because Netflix and Amazon, I mean, they do do movies, but they're mostly kind of like, you know, streaming uh, these these long format shows, which is, as far as the contract goes, as long as they're over 48 minutes, they, they con constitute as a movie. So they can be doing something like that or just do like, you know, straight up, like, you know, uh, director streaming films. Um, but given how little uh, they lose from the, um, the, the partnering with Marvel, it seems pretty unlikely. Um, most likely, what's probably going to happen is Marvel and Sony will just uh, kind of strike a new deal, which will be more or less the same. 
Um, the only difference I see really, I think, I think when it comes to the solo Spidey films, that it might be more apparent that they are uh, are Sony films uh, versus MCU films, which which they already are, but people don't really seem to to realize that. Um, which I kind of talked about a minute ago, but I, I, I get into it a little bit. Um, see, the solo Holland films, uh, Homecoming, Far From Home, No Way Home, uh, th those are Sony movies. Uh, Civil War, uh, Infinity War, Endgame, where, where uh, Spider-Man appears in, those are MCU films. Those are those are Marvel, Disney films, but the, uh, the, the Spider-Man solo films are, are Sony films. Um, and they're not hiding it. It's just not like an Easter egg you have to look for. I mean, I'm just you, all you have to do is have your eyes open and like you know be able to read a title card. Uh, the first logo to come up um, is the same as it's been since 2002 for all, all the films after that and, and, and currently uh, Columbia Pictures in, in association with Marvel. Um, when it comes to Homecoming, Far From Home, Iron, um, Far From Home, in Homecoming, Iron Man guest stars in Far From Home, Nick Fury guest stars um, in, in a Sony Spider-Man film. Um, in the new movie that's fairly released, we've seen Dr. Octopus, and everybody's like, oh my god, the Alpha Molina's joining the, the MCU. It's like, no, no, no. Um, uh, Doctor Strange is guest starring in a Sony Spider-Man film. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's how it works. Um, a lot, not a lot of people realize that. Um, and I think you'll see that more in the Marvel movies going forward with Spider-Man, uh, similar to what they do with the Hulk, where uh, he, he, he co-stars and plays integral roles in the films, that um, in the MCU films, but... Uh, doesn't have a, doesn't have a solo film uh, in them, you know, so he's like you know he, he doesn't seem as part as integral to the MCU uh, narratively. Um, he may show pop up in like you know Fantastic Four or the Avengers, but that's it. Uh, and any solo films will seem more uh, based in uh, its own thing as far as like Sony goes. Um, which to that part, and uh, here we go. Here's here's the, I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Here's potential uh, spoilers for uh, the, the Venom Two: Let There Be Carnage. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Um, supposedly, there's um, an image or a reference to Holland Spider-Man at the end, which Eddie acknowledges to, in one way or another, uh, to a confrontation that's inevitably going to take place. Uh, he says something like, I hate that guy, or whatever. Um, Andy, uh, director Andy Serkis, who's, who's directing the movie, has uh, made mention of it. He said that the confrontation is inevitable. Although he'd like to explore more of uh, Venom if given the chance uh, with future films, um, Tom Hardy also made mention of it. He said that he'd do anything for like you know for for them to fight something like that in a, in a film, which I think he was kind of getting ahead of uh, what potentially could have been like you know internet breaking. Uh, it was it it, 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 it was revealed. I'm sure it's gonna be a big deal on the internet. So I think he was trying to get ahead of it and kind of make it seem like you know it's kind of what Tom Holland did with the uh, Spidey uh, Sony Marvel deal. Um, a couple of years ago, or a year ago, whatever it was, where he supposedly called up Bob Iger crying and begged him for the fans, please strike a deal for the fans. Uh, I, I think it was kind of like a thing where Tom Hardy did the same thing, where they, it kind of seems like him and Tom Tom Holland are are the heroes of this, and, and they're, they're doing it for the fans and wanted to you know, just make the fans happy when it's really just a business move. Um, anyway, uh, this is 100% going to happen. Um, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever, uh, no matter what happens with the Sony and Marvel deal, uh, the, there's definitely going to be a Spider-Man Venom uh, movie uh, coming. Um, as far as Venom joining the MCU goes, which people are already kind of saying on the internet, that's that's false. Um, Venom will not join the MCU. You're not going to see Venom show up in the, the Thunderbolts or any other MCU films, but you'll definitely see this. Um, and that's basically where I see uh, the, th the films going post No Way Home. Kind of, kind of more of the same. Uh, there may be like, you know, slight like, you know, unnoticeable differences, but it's probably going to be the same as this. Um, on a side note, though, um, as far as the uh, what, what's going to happen as far as Marvel and Sony striking a deal, um, Disney will fight for, to get one thing to buy back. Um, Disney has a big investment in Disney Plus, and uh, they are completists, so um, and they want full content. They've already uh, kind of struck a deal with Sony and Netflix to get the Spider-Man films uh, in the streaming service eventually, um, and they have a gap right now uh, when it comes to the Spider-Man animated catalog. Um, uh, don't be surprised, as Disney. Um, tries to buy back um, spectacular, the, the, you know, the very much fan acclaimed spectacular Spider-Man series um, with uh, that Greg Wiseman did. They already have Greg Wiseman who uh, who who's doing projects for Disney right now. Um, the Clone Wars because they're, they're gonna, they want to do the same thing they do with the Clone Wars. They're going to want to you know fill that gap in the catalog and have spectacular Spider-Man uh, and with the other animated series as as well as probably like you know green light like you know a season three. Or, or more seasons going forward, you know, for the for the fans, because I mean, I, I think that would be a good a good idea on their part. That would be a, a huge win for them to get Spectacular Spider-Man and uh, possibly continue uh, with the, the Spectacular Spider-Man show, which I'm sure 
people have been clamoring for for years. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much my take right now. Uh, short and sweet, 10 minute video. Um, yeah, so I mean, let me know what you guys think. You guys think I'm wrong. You guys think like, you know, yeah, I, I think you're right. Let me know in the comments and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you later.